Hello, let's talk about the longest absolute file path. So this question is pretty long and might be misunderstanding for some point, but I'm just going to dive into example and then you'll be able to see what happened. So here's it. So you have a string. So this is your string and then this string is actually represent this diagram. So uh, what do you actually need to know first is actually uh, for the end line. For the end line, you will have to go on the next uh, next path, and then for every single path, you have the slash t. Slash t is actually representing your level of your uh, folder or your file. Doesn't matter. So for this uh, for this folder sub sub directory one, uh, this is actually level one, and this path you have two two uh, two slash t. So this is uh, the second level, and this should be have three, right? And uh, here one two three, right? So this is pretty easy. When you just parse the end line, and then for every single end line string, every single end line string, right? You will have to have uh, slash t at first, no matter what, right? And then it's either the file path. I mean, it's either file or the folder name, right? And then you will just have to um, basically you just have to know uh, what is your current level based on this uh, based on this slash t. So um, if you have two slash t, this is actually give you like uh, the second level, right? Again, how how do I know it? I just have to count the count number of the slash t. So in the string, you can use last index, last index of. This is actually a pretty good method. So if you have only one slash t, the last index of this is actually what? This will give you zero. This is because uh, this is a file path, right? And then uh, you are starting from you are starting from slash t anyway, right? And you only have one, right? So this will give you zero. And for this one, you will give you uh, give you at least index, which is what? Uh, last index is zero, one, two, two, right? So uh, determine how many slash t uh, slash t you have you will be able to know how many uh, uh, I mean what is your current level and let me just jump into how do you actually know what do you need to do so you you, you would need to have a stack so stack is pretty easy uh, you will just have to store the length of your folder and basically that when you when you start from here and then you go on the subdirectory sub one right and then you go on the file one then when you go back to the subdirectory two right you need to pop pop the uh, pop the file from the uh, subdirectory one right and basically this this is pretty easy like um, you will give you um, three uh, you will push uh, directory one into the stack right. But you only you also have to push the a slash right, so three plus one. So this is the uh, level one. I mean level zero doesn't matter. So you will uh, you will go on the sub directory sub one. Then you will have a seven seven plus one, and then later on you will have well, you will have file one, dot est, and then you will have uh four five six seven eight nine so nine plus one, and then. Uh, for this situation, if you have a dot, you don't need to plus one. This is because you know this is file, this is not a path. I mean, this is not a folder. So you will have a max. Uh, you are just storing uh, the, the length of the stack, right? And then somehow you will pop, right? You will pop. Uh, you will pop nine first because this is not this is belong to subdirectory one and when you pop pop the nine then you you also have to check okay is subdirectory two is in the subdirectory one no right so you'll pop so you'll just add subdirectory two into it so this is what seven plus one right seven plus one and then so on right and this is uh, x plus one i don't know what the length and then you find the dots then uh, you you put Y in there and then you find the longest length and this will be a solution. So it looks pretty hard, 
and but when you color it should be too easy so I will type a stack integer stack new stack and then I will have a max equal to zero and then also I need to push my uh, the default value the default value is uh, zero so uh, at the end I will just return a max no matter what right and then I will just traverse the string so uh, I need to parse right so split by slash n so I was I was split by slash n and then uh, this will be the current string right for the first one for the first one and then all right let me just have a more space so I will say in level is equal to what uh, string dot index last index sorry last index oh slash t oh what happened okay and then I will have to find out what is the length of the uh, folder so the length of the folder or I mean I mean the folder of file doesn't matter so then is actually equal to what the string dot length minus level right so you uh, you have this right and this will be what this will be slash t and this is uh, the first string this is actually what this is actually the uh, level one right this is not level zero uh, level zero is uh, dir right so you need to plus one right uh, uh, for this one you will give uh, zero because uh, the index is actually uh, uh, at the front so it's actually zero then I will have to uh, okay so for the first one the dir for the first one let me just go back to uh, dir first because you will you will push dir first right and if if string dot contains dot you will do something this is actually deal with max but if you don't right uh, you basically just what stack the push you push dir plus uh, and stack right yes uh, slash right yes so it's it's actually the length of the uh, length of the uh, I mean the length of the string without the slash t plus uh, your current your current your current level which is what um, stack up peak I mean current length right so this is current length let me just uh, make it order so the first one the d default value is actually zero so zero plus three plus three right plus one so this is the d uh, the first level um this is your second level but be honest this is actually the first level because this is the first slash t you have right so uh i will have to well, i will have to check so stack the size so stack the size is actually uh, determine how many how uh, I mean the level the level order. So if you push one in there, I mean this is the first level, right? I mean but you push the pu push the default value zero. So zero one two, right? So if if uh, well stack the size is actually greater than level plus one. Uh, this is actually mean right. Uh, this is actually mean when you when you add uh, sub thirty two right your level is actually what one right because this is actually return zero zero plus one is one and then one plus one is two but the stack of size is actually what zero uh, one two three right so you need to pop right so stack the pop so when you pop then this will be a cur current current um, current current level and uh, the stack of size is always is always include uh, the default value. So it's actually zero, one, two, three. I mean, I mean one, two, three, four. I mean the size is starting from one, right? One, two, three, four. And then this is actually two. So you need to pop this. You need to pop this. And then I will have to update my max. So max is actually equal to uh, max comma. And then I will have to keep my current length plus the length of the string I mean the length of the file right and 
little bit. It looks pretty hard to understand it, but if you do have any question, um, just leave a comment, and I'm gonna run it. So I don't, I don't want making a typo. Okay, I do have a typo. Oh yes, I do have a typo. Uh, semicolon. Anything else? Okay, I do have typo again. Split. Uh, okay, this is true. Okay, what else? Oh, um, please. Okay, here we go. So let's submit it. All right. So let's we'll talk about the time and space complexity. So for the stream, basically you traverse every single stream, right? So this is all of them, the length of the input, and then the space. Uh, the worst case is you. I mean, you definitely have to add every single string. I mean, the integer into the the stack, right? So I would say all of them, but you can say constant. Doesn't matter. But uh, the time is definitely is definitely all of them. And again, this question is considered uh, difficult, to be honest, because it's actually related to math and also the stack. So if you have any question, leave a comment below and then I try my best to help and I'll see you next time. Bye.